<clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Eleven Foot Pole, a tale of high adventure. My name is Glenn. I am the referee, uh, judge, and master of ceremonies for this session. Uh, joining me is my regular band of malcontents. Um, here, front and center, uh, everybody's favorite. Nobody ever says a bad word about him. August Runemain. I would like to take this opportunity to say that whoever you hired as a voice actor the last two episodes mm -hmm. to, to voice Thorgus is atrocious. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You've so got a lot of close. nerve. Hey, we get what we pay for, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, over here, out of uh, Dragon's Breath range on the far left is Matt. Goodness, that's is that me? No, that's oh, Matt. That's Veritan the Elf. That's Veritan the Elf. This is Matt. Okay, played by Sorry. Matt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So if you click on and my Matt. image, if you click on, on my screen, it should be yeah, yeah. bigger than all the rest and easier to see. I was I was unprepared for a miniatures quiz today, sir. I'm, I apologize. Uh, mm, that okay. is me. I am Karis the Hunter, uh, a third level hunter played by Darren. And last but not least. All right. My name is Jason Naroth, the cleric, third level cleric. And um, happy I'm still alive. So if you guys... Um, in the chat should be the map I made of this floor. Do you guys have that? Because if not, I'll share it again. Mm. I'm going to no. take that as a no. Can you hear again, please, sir? Kind of cleric, and there's some kind of full stone. Let's see I'm looking at that. With monkeys, bolts. <laughs> All right. What about now? Yes. Yes. All right. So to be I'm, also, I'm also sending the, the first floor, but we're not going to go back through all that. You guys came down here to the second floor. And as you can see, um, there's the stairs where you came down. God, he, golly oh, gosh, right. man, this is a lot. Okay, there's the stairs where you came down there, kind of in the southern middle portion, and there were five, there were six doors off of that hallway, four to the north and two to the south. You looked through the first two, Thorgus, you looked through the one on the south, and you said, it looks pristine, and there's a, there's a sarcophagus in here, it's probably full of treasure. Um, Darren, I'm pretty sure Karis looked north, and saw a mostly collapsed one, uh, as you can see on your maps. Right? Everybody with me? Yep. Yeah. All right. Then you proceeded east. You opened that next northern-facing door and crossed into the beach uh, where you are now. And this was what I was trying to describe desperately uh, last week or two weeks ago. Um, <laughs> there's a river... There's a bridge in the middle of the river, or there's an island in the middle of the river with three sarcophagi on it. Um, Darren, your keen eyesight allowed you to see north there where there's a bridge, and or you, you didn't see the bridge, but you saw that boat on the northern shore. Um, but you guys, you guys did not have um, a way to get across this island. You were you were concerned at first that this might be the back of the dragon you're looking for. Um, fortunately, now that you see the size of it, fortunately it's not. Um, <laughs> but you guys were trying to consider a way to... Uh, so this bridge had like two posts on this side, two posts on the other side. And um, so it looked like it used to be kind of a rope bridge kind of thing. Mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. fallen into the water. And so mm -hmm. Thorgus bravely uh, volunteered to oh, voluntold. get, yeah, he was voluntold to, uh, to get into the water there and see how much of that bridge was recoverable. And uh, everybody else was standing off to the side for, uh, let's, let's do this. Everybody else was standing <clears throat> off to the side for fear of um, dragon's breath. Something. 
And uh, <clears throat> last week it was a, or two weeks ago it was a crab, but now suddenly it's like a giant prawn. It's like a delicious <laughs> giant <laughs> crawdad coming up out of the water and attacking Thorgus. What is that? <laughs> I, Jason, Jason, was that crawdad, you? Giant crawdads sounds so much less intimidating. Well, good. good. We're no crawdads. We ate sand. Yeah. Uh, Jason, that, I, I, think when you, I think when you hit that mic, it's making a terrible thud sound. So be careful not to hit oh. it. Okay. That Yeah, that sound right there. Uh, Glenn, a reminder. That's just a bag sliding. <laughs> A reminder of the uh, young lady who is with us now. Uh, this is Canyon, a beautiful uh, <laughs> prismist uh, who has taken a, taken a shine to uh, Matt's character. Uh, she's she's got a staff that was cut off in this printing, but has a big crystal on the end that she shines light from, and uh, she looks like she has some kind of crow familiar. And um, you is, know. is this the eighteen year old that's looking to marry? Uh, that's where we got yeah, the name the from, but obviously this is, this is not, this girl is not suspicious at all, right? There's nothing, there's nothing uncanny about her. She's just showing, <laughs> showing a little hip, showing a little cleavage, definitely not any kind of honey trap situation going on with her. So, um, so the so, lady we meet in the abandoned dungeon temple of evil, not, not suspicious. suspicious. Not, not but to the me. the lady who lives in that She's, bill. right. <laughs> She's um and she's attracted to me. She's looking for her friend, just a friend, sure. Meg, who's sure. also an adventurer, right. and she's convinced Meg is down here somewhere. And so she decided to join up with you guys. You can see I bought this giant D6 so that you guys can see more easily when I roll initiative. JP, you're gonna have to roll nice. You're gonna have to roll a D6. You're the closest to the enemy, so we're rolling for initiative. Ooh, I got a six on there. Okay, I get to go first. So as you step into the water a little bit and start looking at the um, bridge, this thing emerges up out of the sand. You can see it kind of towering over you. And it's going to try to bite you. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get it with a three. Mm -hmm. Uh, So... uh, it's funny, this mini has kind of teeth for the prawn, but I was afraid if I if I painted them white, it would look comic, like he's got like, you know. So anyway, he tries to bite you, <laughs> and you manage to get your, what are you using as a weapon? A hammer, an axe, a sword? Uh, yeah, a war hammer. You manage to get your war hammer up and keep from getting swallowed. Is anybody going to move this round? We enter the movement phase of your round. Uh, yeah, I'll move out of range anyway. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're out of range. You're all the way over here. Yeah, how far away is that, though? Is that about 20 feet? 10 yeah. feet? 15 feet? It's more like 20. It's more you like move even further away? Um, depends on the, the range of my... No, no, no. You know what? I'm fine where I am. I could sling for him where I am, and then if he crawls up, hit him with a mace. Okay, we're good. All right, no, nobody's moving. All right, I don't let's think so. let's let's do all those ranged attacks. Let's do all those ranged attacks. Crap, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I rolled lower than Glenn. <laughs> Oof. You know, you don't have to be quite so consistent, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. I, I, I rolled the other way on my saving throw. I hit a natural 20. First die. See, we bounce each hey! other off, Matthew. Critical hit. Your arrow sails between a couple of its plates. I roll 2d6 then? Uh, yes, you would. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10. Holy uh, shoes hey. and socks. That's fat. All right. Your arrow yeah. flies into its into its fleshy parts, and um, a bunch of a bunch of kind of greenish goo comes spilling out, along with um, 
uh, butter, garlic, and uh, <laughs> and a bunch of uh, New Orleans spices. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason, did you roll? I did. Does a three hit? No, it sure doesn't. What is what is going on with you guys? <laughs> JP, you're supposed to be well rested. It's yep. badly hurt, JP. Badly hurt Good. by by your friend the Curtis hunter. Will try to uh, smash it with a hammer. Uh, with a 13. Mm, no go, sir. No go. Um, what about the halflings? Uh, the halflings uh, start picking up rocks off the beach and start throwing them at it. Pink, 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 pink. Aggravating it greatly. Uh, Canyon lifts her staff and a beam of prismatic light flies from the staff. Hmm. And does absolutely nothing as the prawn rolls a 17 on his saving throw. Wow. Uh, JP, next round. Roll for initiative. Uh, yep. Four again. Two. There we go. Anybody moving? No moving. Yep. Roll, roll your ranged attacks. JP, roll your melee attack. Six again. Six again. Morgus has been out of the game for a while. So. Right, right. I, I rolled a four. Got a 15. Hey, 15 hits. So that's um, a sling with an iron ball. Okay. Um, Still going to be 1d4. 1d4, yeah. Yep. Um, this, is not a, this is not a fey creature. Hey, that's four. Oh, my goodness. Four is the magic in? number. There we go. It All started right. with 14 Fair. hit points. All right. Very nice. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We've got to, we, uh, Jason, we're going to have to get you a, a little mic stand that has like a shock absorber. Every time Isn't you that touch bad? that, every time you touch that table, it's like. Wow. I don't hear anything on my end. But yeah, you don't hear your own mic. Um, all right, there you go. No problem. You guys get a total of 50 experience points. One, two, right. three, four, five, six, ways. seven, eight. Oh, di divide 50 experience points eight ways. We're rich. The idea was it to bring all these halflings. <laughs> it's like, right? it's like, it's a piece. Hey, listen, it occurs to me she's got a cool staff. It's definitely better than what I got. So, um, I mean, like, maybe while she's sleeping? Robin, our new friend. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Our new friend, our new friend is a, a greater level than, than, than I am anyway. Yeah. Yeah, go so ahead. That, attempt, that, attempt to steal it from her. Go and you may not want to steal her stuff. <laughs> I, I was going to say, Darren, that, yeah, yeah. That's always a good <clears throat> sign that you should go ahead and rob somebody when you figure out they're much <laughs> higher level than you. Yeah. Yeah, she's... She's got stuff. That checks out. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In all the right places. Um, all right. Nice what do you guys do? Uh, I'll continue to pull the uh, bridge. Is there any is way we could look around Glenn, and see, like, to make sure we're not in, like, a nest of those, that that was, like, the only one? Uh, scanning in the water um, there. Yeah, roll that D12. You're trying to get a one, two, or three. I got a nine. You don't see any sign of any others. No, that looks for looks safe, doesn't it? Yeah, looks safe enough for Thorgus to go back in. Yep. Um. <laughs> Should we tie a rope on Thorgus? Mm. I mean, it's I not mean, that deep at... at, at, at yeah. uh, He's just stepping into the sandy, you know, beach area. But what I will, I will, like I just said, I will continue to work on pulling that bridge back across. All right. So you pull the bridge back across. Um, it looks like it was cut about two thirds of the way across. Um, and. Uh, Whoever cut it got wet. <laughs> uh, well. 
it's it's not that far. It's only about fifteen feet to the other to the other side. Um, but JP, as you're looking with your expert um, contractor's eye, uh, you look at the at the way the ropes are cut, and then you look at the mouth of the giant prawn, and then you look at the way the ropes are cut, and you think you know what happened. Mm. So the, the the guy before you had a much worse DM. Let's just put it that way. Like he sure, was just sure. cruel. He was just cruel. When I stepped into the water, could I tell if it got progressively deeper? Uh, um, continue waist deep, or would I continue? In, what might it? Uh, you're gonna have to wade back out to find that out for sure. If only you had an eleven okay. foot pole to kind of feel ahead of you. <laughs> told you one of our halflings had an 11 foot pole. All right. The halflings you hand you the 11 foot pole. You feel ahead. Um, you and the halflings would be underwater a little bit of the way, or you'd have to kind of bob to try to get across. Uh, you think the taller races, probably their heads would be above water. Um, the current is kind of strong, but uh, other than that, you don't think it's that big of a deal. This is the only direction we really have, right? It's the most promising one if we're trying to get to this, uh, to our destination to find this book at the Den of the Water, Dragon, whatever, 86 things they call it. Well, I will instruct the halflings to get on the backs of the taller creatures. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What if, what if I, do we, have a, do we have a rope long enough for me to, since I'm one of the taller creatures, I guess, uh, right. wade across <laughs> and tie it to the boat so they can pull the boat back to them? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. not a bad idea, you and Matt. Matt, you and I, we could go over and get the boat and bring it back, yeah. We don't have to bring it back. They can, we can tie a rope to it, and they can pull it across it, the island. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys you know, are going to wade across to the island? Yeah, now, why don't we do If you look at the map, if you look at the map, there's a bridge on the other side that could get you to where the boat is. Okay. Okay. So, so you'd have to walk across the island, across the bridge, and then you could get the boat. So you're going to leave an end of the rope here, and you're going to walk out onto the island. Yeah. Yes. All right. Won't this be interesting? <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy. The listener, the listener hopes so. That uh, that plan fell apart faster than most, eh, Matt? <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to open any sarcophagi. Yeah, we're not. We're not going over there and pry those. <laughs> what? <open>. What? Jason, <laughs> fool Matt one shame on you, but fool Matt a third, third time. <laughs> uh, what are your alignments, Matt and Darren? Chaotic, good. Oh, okay. I don't know if I ever. I'm, I'm sure I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a fun time to explain alignment in OSE uh, and uh, original D&D. So this is before there were nine alignments. There are only three alignments. Law, neutrality, and chaos. Law is um, sort of supporting the societies of, of men and dwarves and elves, kind of building cities and protecting farmers. Neutrality is kind of protecting the wild, kind of um, more interested in Mother Nature than um, sort of society. And chaos is enslavement, evil, oppression, and the destruction of all things. So you guys can be lawful or you can be neutral. You guys don't want to be chaotic. My character is neutral. Um, okay. Fergus is lawful. Yeah. Mine's neutral. Okay. I'm more Darren, for, the, for the environment. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If I was a hunter. Mm hmm. That feels All like right. you would trend more neutral, doesn't it? In that okay. direction. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So neutral, good. No, just neutral. There's no okay, neutral good. Neutral. All right. All right. Uh, so as as soon as you step on the beach, 
the uh, sarcophagi open up. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Party time. Excellent. Without any hesitation. See, that's what I get for, for caring about my fellow man and trying to help them get across as easy as possible. <laughs> oh, shit. These, Ooh, yeah. these uh, oozy, oozy dudes. These two guys that are kind of like um, emaciated skeletal guys. Uh, I mean, they're not skeletal. Thin, emaciated, tall humans, right? Kind of a Slender Man thing, except they're just dripping with ooze, right? And in oh, the shit. middle is this oozy uh, priestess with two normal eyes and one big red eye looking out of her forehead. And she's wearing a robe that reminds you of the robe you found in the secret room. You guys remember what I'm talking about? The yeah, one that's yeah. in my backpack, yeah. The one that you guys used to, oh yeah, that's right. You didn't want to use it on the on the acidic bones because you didn't know if it was going to be useful one day. Right. So, you, so uh, her robe is similar to that and her skin is just, Let's see here. Pallid flesh, three eyes, oozing pustules. Uh, she also has what looks like expensive gold jewelry on. All right. I tell her I'm already dating the lady on the other shore. <laughs> <laughs> she know that? They they all they all stand up Ooh. out of their coffins and um these two just kind of, you know, look menacing. And when the priestess stands up, she's like, um, Thou hast trespassed on the sacred tombs of the faceless Lord. Thou shalt die a thousand deaths in the slimy depths of Kelkathkarach. What do you do? Sounds bad when she says it like that. <laughs> <laughs> say it, don't spray it. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? You want to try and role play our way out of this, fight our way out, or run like hell? I think I sharded. <laughs> it, is a role, it is a RPG, right? Um, it is a role playing game. All right. Um,. Mistress, we're, we're just we mean no disrespect over the island. We mean no disrespect. <laughs> we're just trying to get to the other side of this room. Um. Hmm. Hmm. She doesn't give a flying. <laughs> no, 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 no. She listens. She listens. Um. Uh, Encumbrance, dungeons, wilderness. What do you what think, Matt? Should I pull the cloak out of my backpack and try to pretend we're one of them? I was thinking about it. Why the hell else are we going to carry this yeah. around, right? Yeah, pretend pretend you're one of her followers. Can you explain that you're not wearing the cloak? Uh, we thought we well, we didn't want to get wet when we were wading through the water. <laughs> we just <laughs> wade down. <laughs> Those things we ate right. back at the lake that I couldn't get in town, it was a stew or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The octopi. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can tell her you got one of those a stain on there. <laughs> Disgrace. Uh, let's see what she says. All right. So you put down your backpack and you pull out this robe, and you're Jim. like, "We mean no disrespect to the faceless lord." Right, and then I guess throw it over my shoulders and be like, right. we mean no disrespect. We're just trying to get to the other side, to the passage. What uh, What is your charisma score? Oh, not near what Matt's is. Matt, you want the cloak? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Check. My charisma is eight. Oof. Okay, so you are at minus one. Roll 2d6, add them together, and take away one. 
I have seven minus one is six. They act neutral, uncertain. Um, that was a productive roll. Um, Both better than chaotic. Yeah, and they hate you. <laughs> yes, there's there's hostile may attack and then just straight up attacks. So it's better than that. Okay, so um, yeah, that was slightly better. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How about the we've come to pay homage? Homage? I don't know if I have any homage on me. He says, "What's going on?" A lot of homage. A lot of homage. So you hear you hear the cleric yell across the stream at you. Tell her we've come to pay homage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. And she says, <laughs> "Ah, thou hast come to pay homage to me, the priestess, the high priestess of the faceless lord." And she like blinks with these two eyes, and then she blinks with this eye, and then she blinks with these two eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, oh sure. Now what the hell do we have that she's going to be homaged about? Well, she's she's wearing some gold, man. Maybe maybe we can. Wait, tie do we still have those two necklaces we pulled off the other skeletal guards? Uh, I'm sure you do. Who who has that on their equipment list? Hmm. Hmm. Did I write that in there? Somebody should have written it down. JP, you were here that week. Did you write it down? The only thing I have on my list that's not original is a crystal dagger. Okay, I have it I, under my with my backpack with the cloak. I think we sold. So. All right, you you pull those you out know, and well, one of us has the crystal dagger. It's like the only magic weapon we have. JP said he has it. Okay. So yeah, I have it, the two amulets with the cloak. So what do you do? Uh we we are humble. Uh, we have a humble offering to make to you, uh, ma'am, but here's what we can offer. And <laughs> you, you, the call two. Her, you call her ma'am, and she's like, most pestilent high priest, or pustulent I'm high sorry. priestess. Most, most pestilent high priestess, we bring to you this humble offering and, and okay. put the necklaces in front of her. Okay, she takes the necklaces, her, her, her dripping pustulent hand reaches out and a little a little blob of goo lands on your hand um and she takes the she takes the necklaces and she looks at them and she's like ah yes emblems of cornistonif from the age of kiliabandebo you may pass and she puts the, the the necklaces on over the necklaces she already has she's kind of got a mr t situation going on and she and her uh, she and her followers return to their return to their graves. Good job, gentlemen. Well played. Well played. Okay then. All right then. We should get experience points for that. You do. <laughs> Has somebody got, got a calculator handy? Sure. Add. Uh, well, okay, it's a hundred experience points for all three of them. Divided by three. three. Oh. Divided you got by from eight. the other side of the lake into the experience? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, they were here. They're... They they were readying an action, you know. Thirty seven each. That's impossible. No, it's nine each. You said there were three hundred? No, one hundred. One each. You, you said there were three hundred no, no, no. each. No, 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 no. 100 total. No, wait a minute. Oh. It's 12 of them. 100 total. Of she's she's okay. worth 12, 50. 12 apiece. Yeah. She's worth 50. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Each. I thought you said 100 each. i sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, and each of them is worth 25. Okay. Okay, 100 and what? Are there nine of us? 12 apiece. Eight. It's 12 apiece. We don't count her. She is she is not uh, officially part of the party yet. She and she and Matt uh, she and Vertan have yet to seal the deal, so there's no. <laughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I guess she'll never she'll never be part of the party because it's been a while since I've sealed the deal. So, since the hired <laughs> hirelings, the fantasy game, getting, Matt. Since the hirelings are getting experience point, does that mean that they level up too? 
They do. Better. Yep. If they really, complete really. this, if they complete this adventure, they become first level um, adventures. Well, that that already happened yeah. with Dankin. Dankin like has his yeah. own character sheet, whereas oh. they're just like they're just like this nebulous. They have a ten and everything. So yeah, cool, cool. JP's looking around like he's scared. You have Dankin's character sheet, right? We can't hear you. Speak up. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Ash. It's Ash. Now, you told me. You told me you rolled up stats for Duncan. That you like rolled up stats. I don't have a character sheet. What in first edition? What is a character sheet? But a list of stats and a um, number of hit points. There you go. It's a character sheet. They don't have that for me. Okay. Well, get one before Gen Con. Jason, Jason, you can mute your mic while the dogs are fighting if you want. I'll do that. All right. Uh, you pull the boat over. You pull the boat over from Area 49. At least it wasn't 51. As soon as you guys step off the um, bridge onto the sand on the other side where the boat is, you both have to make a saving throw. There's a bright flash of light. Um, saving throw versus? Save versus spells. And it's that number or better? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I roll exactly that number. Best thing against the flashbang. Say what, Matt? I made mine. I heard you. What, Matt? Oh, nice. <laughs> what I have to roll against? You have to roll your save spells? versus spells or higher on a d20. Got it. You got it. Okay. Nice. Yep. So there's a bright flash of light, um, and you kind of both raise your weapons. And wait for a second, your eyes kind of adjust back to the near darkness, and it doesn't seem to have had any effect. Um, so you guys put the rope, tie it around the boat, they pull the boat across, they take the boat across to the island, the ooze whites kind of lift their um, the tops of their sarcophagi up and just look out, and the priestess is looking out with her three eyes, but she kind of gives them the slow nod and then lowers it back down. Um, everybody else has to roll that same save on the other side. So JP and Jason roll a save versus spells. We probably should have rolled that, <laughs> You're trying to get At your save versus Wednesday. spells or higher. Or higher. Okay, well, I'm going to mess happen. with... I'm going to pause the... <laughs> Those dogs up. Okay, Jason and JP, so you both made the save? And that... No, I failed the save. And that twins oh. Okay, uh, so the light flares when the rest of the party steps on the beach, um, and all of the halflings and the cleric cannot see the tunnel that leads off this beach. It looks like a dead end to you. Whereas the prismist oh. and everybody else can see that there's a there's another tunnel at the back, very clearly. Hmm. Clever spell. Hmm. So I assume you guys um, head down that passageway. Mm-hmm. Yep. Zoom to me. I will also pause the recording for the. All right. Area 50. You've... What the hell is that? What the heck? Exactly. <laughs> I'm working on my Foley skills. Is that not creepy? 
Yeah, it's it's it it sounds like a duck farting. All right. Uh, a crystal grotto, 12 foot high ceiling with rough stone walls, rainbow hued crystals hang from the ceiling and provide a soft glow. There's a luxurious bed in the middle of the room on a plush red rug and a finely bedecked table laden with food and drink. Uh, based on your description, can we, is it safe to say that this is an incandescent grotto? Very much so. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt, if you're looking to seal that deal, this may be just the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was the making the same thing. are low. Is perfect. Sounds like the Phantom Fleet from Indianapolis. <laughs> They'll croon while you dine on them. <laughs> and then I start walking out. Is okay. that is that two beds there, Glenn? What are the miniatures representing there in the uh... uh the one is the table laden with food, and the other is the bed. Actually, it should be more like this. The bed's kind of up against the wall here, and the table laden with food is right here. Um yeah, that's right, guys. All the good stuff. We get some rest. We get some snacks. This is nothing to be suspicious of. Thorgus would like to point out that you know whoever 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 built this 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 home this living situation you never put you never sleep where you dine. <laughs> Have separate rooms for those things. You've never lived in a studio apartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have not. <laughs> Say, never, never lived in a dorm, that's for sure. <laughs> so, Matt, as you step in and look around, um, there, uh, you realize the illumination isn't actually coming from the crystals. There's an elaborate lamp, like lantern type thing, uh, that's hanging from the ceiling and giving off this soft white glow. Um, and, uh, yeah, as the rest of you come in and... and uh, as uh, as Canyon lays eyes on the bed, the uh, Barry White song starts playing, and <laughs> seems like a <laughs> seems, a, <laughs> seems like seems like a wonderful place for you guys to uh, <laughs> eat some of this delicious food. I mean, the 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 table is just piled with um, pastries, roast game, candied fruits. Sparkling wines and spiced teas. Mm. Uh, there are two tunnels that lead out of the room, uh, both on the eastern wall, one to the north and one to the south. Glenn, can our resident uh, prismatist or whatever we call her, uh, any insights to this room from how that chandelier thing is working to the crystals? Does she know anything about this that maybe we haven't asked her yet about some of the dangers down here? It's prismist, not prismatist. Um, uh, I believe... I'm not trying to sleep with this, so, you know. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, lamp of fictitious finery. It, as long as it is lit in this room, uh, the food and the bedding and whatever else the user commands is um, apparently real, but it is all a glamour. And in fact, um, you can eat the food and drink the wine and rest in the bed, but when you leave the room, uh, anything that you have, that you try to take out of it will vanish. This is, uh, this is advanced prismatist magic. Mm. Human I swine. Now, why would it be in this location? Yeah. Why, why? Any theories on why that might be here? Who could have placed it here? Sorry, give me two seconds. Do they have lemon bread? Our <laughs> planning prevents wonder, poor performance. All right. Is there so a, as you are as you are asking? Um, for an explanation uh, from, from Meg. We said that was her name, right? Oh, no, Canyon. She's looking for Canyon. Me. Canyon. As, as you were asking for an Canyon, explanation yeah. from Canyon about why this would be here, a figure 
steps out of the northernmost of the two passages. And it is an exact double of Canyon in every detail. Looks exactly like her. The staff, the raven, everything. And, <laughs> and this one says, what is the meaning of this? And this one's like, what is the meaning of this? And this one's like, ah, you've made yourself appear as my double. No, you've made yourself appear as my double, doppelganger. Doppelganger, bitch, whore, slut. They start <laughs> exchanging. Do <laughs> Spider-Man meme. Spider yeah, yeah, exactly, meme. exactly. It's the Spider-Man meme. They're both pointing at each other. Um, and uh, Ladies, ladies, there's enough of you to go around. <laughs> well, wow, Matt's fantasy just got so much better. <laughs> That's some good role play in there, Matt. Good role playing. Now, is uh, this? She was looking for her friend Meg, right? Like not her identical right. sister Meg. No, she said she said Meg was a warrior type, All and right. obviously okay. Canyon is a prismist wizard type. So this is um, more enchantment. So this one says, um. Quick, destroy her before she can bamboozle us with her magic. And this one is like, another step and I will blast you with my magic. Um, let's roll initiative. So is Matt, this a mimic? No, Matt, no, no since, not Matt. Not, not Matt. <laughs> Matt, since it's your girlfriend, <laughs> since it's your girlfriend, you get to roll initiative. I got a three. Oh, I'm trying yeah. to beat a three. You know how it went. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> hey, which have, one are we going to Jason attack? roll for initiative? <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> um, so this canyon casts a spell at this canyon. <laughs> this canyon tries to save and succeeds. Um, then this canyon casts a spell at this canyon. Um, this canyon fails. And uh, when she, uh, before when she like cast a sort of a, a a beam of light at the uh, crab thing. She hits this canyon with it and she cries out in pain and she's got like a burn on her otherwise perfect silky shoulder. Um, <laughs> is anybody moving this round? Uh, I'm do... moving in between them. Let's out. <laughs> oh, easy. Morgus would like to move to his his out. right. <laughs> yeah, let's let's fan out from the tunnel. Morgus will move okay. to his right, <laughs> two two spots to get out of the way of these two. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with George Morgus as well. Let me back okay. one more there. Yeah. Here you go. Like back here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let yes, and I'm gonna just let them do their thing. <laughs> uh, Jason, I I, I want to get in position to shoot. What about yep. Neroth? Um, just uh, let's put Neroth within sling range of the second um, canyon, the Usurper. The false canyon. The okay. false canyon. The not so yeah. grand canyon. The not so <laughs> grand canyon. <laughs> 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 ah. All right. So, Matt, you're. Um, The, the girl you came in with is right here. Uh, the girl you might leave with is up here. Where between them do you want to do you want to stand? <laughs> There's quite a just, bit of space between just them. Just in, huh? Where where the path yeah, of arrows of, do you want to stand, of closest, Matthew? Just in front of the, the my closest canyon. <laughs> okay, all right. And you're like, ladies, 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 right? <laughs> right. All right, the halflings start coming in. 
They're doing the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> uh, does does anyone want to make any ranged attacks or melee attacks? Well, Matt, are you thinking you want to try and dialogue with this person before we just throw, yeah. throw the arrows and things at her? Yeah, you know, we don't... We don't actually know our canyon is a good canyon either. We don't know who any of these people really are. We haven't been attacked yet. If, mm-hmm. if they attack, if we if they attack each other, I mean, they're attacking they can... each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she like, took a out of the thing that was eating Thorgus. I mean, you know, she's not evil. That's true. Yeah, she didn't attack us. I guess the question is, do you think we can get information out of the false canyon that might get us to this book? Possibly, oh. if we could keep you, keep them from be destroying one another. Is um, Matt roll your uh, roll your charisma or less on a d twenty? Or sorry, roll your wisdom or less on a d twenty. Whatever you want to or less. Well, I already I already rolled, so <laughs> I'm going to keep my four. <laughs> and say ah, I'm good. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, so you don't, you don't hit anything. We make lots of saving throws. Um, so when they were when they were yelling back and forth, um, you did notice that your canyon um, jumped to destroy her before she has a chance to to beguile us with her witchery uh, very quickly. Like she turned like vicious almost as soon as she saw the other canyon. Oh. Whereas Uh-oh. the other canyon was more like, what is the meaning of this kind of thing? Um, so when you so say... Been... Go ahead. So she could be trying to keep the second canyon from revealing who she truly is. Um, so when you try to get them both to calm down you notice that this canyon is still like, no, destroy her. She's a danger to all of us. Let's roll for initiative in the next round, Matt. You got to match Hold a on, six. I'm a different die. Okay. <laughs> nope, did not. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Jason's right. glimmering. <laughs> what? <laughs> you lean back this far enough where you're starting to disappear. Into oh, your background. Cool. cool. Blending into the Roku. It made you look like a fairy. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> no wrong with that. Um, I'm going to... Oh, my goodness. So many pages. We don't we don't use that term anymore, Darren. <laughs> well, what do you call the people that live with Peter Pan on the island? False boys. <laughs> Drug dealers. <laughs> Probably can't call them Indians anymore either, can we? Indians. <laughs> don't 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 get our um don't get our live stream and podcast canceled. Uh, you know what? What are we seven episodes in? I mean, come on, man. Try to give us a try to give us a chance. Have um, we surpassed one uh, one listener yet? <laughs> uh, to the live stream, no. We've got a few viewers on on YouTube and uh, Spotify. Uh, and they are the awesome, way, and we love them. We're awesome. not making fun of them at all. They're awesome. They're the, they're the best. And please, uh, please give us a like and a subscribe. Um, oh, buddy, bring a friend. As you can, uh, as you can tell from my somewhat befuddled expression, I'm trying to figure out exactly what happens at the top of this next round. So, speaking of giving us a like and subscribe, <laughs> we're gonna pick up here oh, no. next week. We're gonna pick up right here next week. Uh, and uh, join us next time for 11 Foot Pole.